Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see about the pathophysiology, signs and symptoms of some diseases. So basically, what are the essential points that you have to remember before the start of session that will be con uh, that will be covered in today's session. So basically, we all are pharmacists, and that and for that we all need to aware about at least some common diseases or and elements with which the patient present himself. Therefore, some of the common diseases along with their signs and symptoms, pathophysiology, what is their etiology, what is their epidemiology is discussed during this lecture. Let's see one by one. What are the learning outcomes of today's session? After the completion of this session, students will be able to define different terminologies like pathophysiology, signs, symptoms of disease, legends, manifestations, etc. So basically, what is disease? How do you know a person is ill? Or how do you know a person is suffering from a certain disease? Obviously, the individual's body will provide some sort of indication or sign that the body is not functioning well. Hence, the body will not function abnormally or unusually. This is nothing but manifestation of disease or symptom of disease or medical sign of disease. Let us study more about the diseases and their manifestations. What is disease? The literal meaning of disease is disturbed age or feeling uncomfortable. Hence, disease refers to malfunctioning of any part of body due to one or more reasons. The diseases can be generally of two types. You know about acute disease and chronic disease. What is etiology of disease? Basically, when we see any disease, question arises into our mind that is, what are the causes of disease? And this is nothing but the etiology of disease. Okay, so what is this? Uh, what is etiology? It is the cause, set of cause, or manner of causation of disease or condition is called etiology. Example: Etiological agent of tuberculosis is tubercle bacillus. Other factors may also include age, nutritional status, etc. Imagine a person who is suffering from malaria. What is the cause of disease? Of course, we can say the mosquito bite. What happens when a person is bitten by mosquitoes causing malaria? Malaria is a mosquito-borne parasitic infection spread by mosquitoes that carry a pathogen plasmodium, which is a single cell parasite. These parasites are present in mosquitoes and upon biting a human is transmitted to the human, thereby causing malaria. So we can say the causes are the vector and pathogen both. Pathogen means what? It is nothing but disease causing infectious agent or it is it is the organism. And vector means what? It is an insect or animal that carries the pathogen. However, causes can be at different levels. The immediate cause can be the pathogen or the vector. Consider a baby suffering from frequent loose motions. The cause can be the infection due to the virus. But how did the virus enter the body? Moreover, there are many babies. Why did the virus infect a particular baby? This is all about the etiology. Next point is pathogenesis. Pathogenesis is nothing but pathogenesis of a disease, it refers to a development or evolution of disease. Thus, pathogenesis of tuberculosis would indicate the mechanism whereby invasion of body by the tuberculous bacillus. Here is the reflection spot. What do you mean by signs and symptoms? Is there any difference in signs and symptoms? Think on it and write your answer in your notebook. Okay. 
let's see the difference of sign and symptom it is uh, that is called as manifestations let's see the definition of manifestations manifestations are nothing but these are the changes which are observed during the disease process okay these manifestations can be divided into two parts the first one is sign and the second one is symptoms if an individual is suffering from any disease the functioning of the system or a systematic uh, or systems appearance will vary from normal all the changes develop signs and symptoms this is known as manifestation of disease for an example cough headache inflammation fit vomiting uh, wound with pus even loose motions these are the symptoms that indicate that the person may be um, uh, maybe he is suffering from a specific disease these are the subjective feelings which can only be reported by the patient to an observer what are signs identifiable changes are termed as signs of disease it includes fever reddening of skin etc and symptoms include nausea malaise pain etc here is the difference between symptom of disease and sign of disease symptoms are the changes that any patient experiences before or during the disease however a doctor cannot see or observe it so the patient has to inform the doctor about the symptoms and what are signs signs refer to the changes in the normal functioning of structure of the body a physician or a doctor can easily notice signs of patient's body signs include rashes inflammation swelling changes in the color of skin then the next point is lesion what is the meaning of lesion it is that it is nothing but a demonstrable structural change produced in the course of disease it is referred as lesion then what is sequel it is the outcome of disease which is referred as a sequel sequel of inflammatory process of tissue might be scar in the tissue then what is complications of disease new or separate process raised secondarily because some changes produced by the original entity example is bacterial pneumonia complication uh, complication of viral infection of respiratory tract here is a picture of lesion okay in this way we have covered the basic points of uh, uh, topic this is manifestations and pathophysiology in next session we will start with different different diseases along with its pathophysiology signs and symptoms okay thank you